God bless you. My name is Pastor Harris Kakalides. And today's topic will be the Christian responsibility towards the Jew. And there's been lots of false gospels being preached, especially in TBN, John Hagee being one of them, um, saying that the Jewish people are saved without the gospel. Um, that they're saved to the, um, through the, the Torah, through following the law. And, I, and I, that reminds me of a heresy that was um, back in the 2nd century, 2nd and 3rd century. Um, it was found in the Homnies of Clement, um, book chapter 8, um, chapter 7. Um, I want to read this. Um, I don't believe this. Um, this is against heresy. This is against what the gospel preaches. But this is something John Hagee is teaching. It says thus, Thus the Hebrews are not condemned because they d did not know Jesus, provided only they act according to the instructions of Moses, and do not injure him whom they did not know. And again, the offspring of the Gentiles are not judged who have not known Moses, provided only they act according to the words of Jesus, and do not injure him whom they did not know. Uh, this this is this this is actually the belief of many churches nowadays saying that you don't have to preach the gospel to the Jewish people because the Jewish people are saved without Christ, and this is a heresy. This is against what the gospel teaches. The Bible tells us very clearly that both Jews and Gentiles are saved through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation. Um, there is no other way to be saved for both Gentiles and Jewish people alike but through Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible tells us in John chapter 1, it tells us, verses 12 and 13, it tells us that just because you're Jewish, you're not saved by being Jewish. Um, it's only through Jesus Christ. Look at what the Bible tells us. But as many as receive Him, to them gave He power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name which were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. Um, notice that it says not of blood. In other words, not because your family is Jewish, that you are saved. Also the Bible tells us in Romans very clearly, Romans chapter 1 verses 16 and 17 tells us, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. If we go to Romans chapter 3, let's go to verses 9, it says, What then? Are we better than the Jewish people are they, than they? No, in no wise, for we have both proved, both Jews and Gentiles, that they are all under sin. And, and then if you continue and you go to verses 21 to 24, it says, But now... The righteousness of God without the law is manifest, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Hallelujah.